Hi everyone, my name is Michael Tracy, lead developer of Lucky Rabbit Web Design, and welcome to this screencast on how to set up WordPress locally on your own machine so you can start developing your own custom themes and websites uh, without being live and online. Uh, first things first, you're going to want to go to wampserver.com backslash en for the English version of the WAMP server if you are on a Windows machine. If you are on a Mac, you're going to want to go to mamp.info backslash en backslash index.html. Uh, you can find both of these just by Googling MAMP or WAMP. These are your local servers, uh, which will allow you to run uh, PHP and MySQL databases, as well as the uh, Apache server language. This is what you need to run your, your WordPress website locally. So once you have that downloaded and installed, you will find an icon sort of like this. I'm on a PC, so this is my, my WAMP. And if I turn that on, you see the little server uh, icon over here it went from red to green, indicating that the servers are now on. If I right click on that, I get a number of options here, but what I really want to do is left click. And there are, there's the, the basic control panel for the WAMP server. And first off, I want to open up my PHP My Admin. And this is where we will control the databases. But before I go too far, let me show you in the file system on the computer. WAMP has been installed on the C drive in a folder called WAMP. And if we go into the WAMP folder, we have a lot more folders, but the only one we really need to pay attention right now is this www folder. This is where the contents of any of your projects are going to live, and you can have many projects going here. Um, you can have many, many, many WordPress sites or PHP sites uh, that you're developing simultaneously and they'll all live here in the WW folder. So to be clear, the path we're looking for is right here. C, WAMP, WW, and in here all your projects will live. So once you've got MAMP or WAMP up and running, you're going to want to download WordPress. WordPress.com is for uh, WordPress sites that are hosted on WordPress.com. We're going to make a self-hosted WordPress site, and that comes to us from WordPress.org. And this is what that looks like. You got a nice big button right over here that says Download WordPress. So if I click that, click this Download WordPress 3.5.2, the version number will change as time goes on, but this is the current version. This is what I want to grab. So if I download this, I want to save this, not necessarily to my download folders. You can download it to wherever you want, as long as you move it, at least the contents of what we're downloading, into that www folder or on a Mac. It's going to be found in Applications, WAMP, HT Docs. And I want to put this here in my WAMP folder, in my WW folder right here and I'm going to just just name my project so I'm going to start a folder here and I'm going to say WordPress demo and I'm going to leave them right in there once the download is complete I'm going to go to the files that we just downloaded it comes down as a zip folder and I'm going to double click on that and I'm going to extract all the files that make WordPress run into my projects folder and there we have it I don't want this named WordPress WordPress, it makes all these extra little uh, folders for you. But right here, if you see these main folders, WP Admin, WP Content, WP Includes, these are the nuts and bolts of WordPress that make the whole thing run. So I'm going to select all of these. 
copy and paste them just to make sure I have them in the right folder. And I want them here in my WordPress demo. So I'm going to jump up a few layers. I'm just going to paste those. Paste those. Let's try to grab those again. Control all, control copy, go back to the WordPress, and paste all of them. I can now get rid of this WordPress 3.5.2. I have what I want, and I can get rid of the zip. Yes, this is what you want right here. You're going to see WordPress admin, WordPress content, WordPress includes all living here nicely inside the C WAMP www folder and then the folder of whatever you've named your current project. Seems simple enough. From here, if we want to see what's currently in our www folder, open up any browser. I'm using Firefox. Anyone will do. And on a Windows machine, you're going to want to go simply to local host. Make sure that your servers are running. Make sure that you spelled that correctly. Did I? Yes, I misspelled that. Local host. And this shows you the contents of that www folder. Local host and www, the contents of those folders are uh, in like in sync. Whatever's inside your www folder will be found here at the root site of localhost. And if I click on my WordPress demo, this brings me to the initial setup of WordPress. And it's telling me it doesn't seem to have a configuration file. So this is where most people get lost the first time that they try to set up WordPress. You have to set up a configuration file and the one key point that really sort of bumps uh, new people from, from succeeding at this is setting up a database. So I'm just going to click create a configuration file and WordPress is going to help us out here. Now it's telling us that it's going to want a database name, a database username, password, etc. And before we go any further, the one thing we have to do is create a database for WordPress to use. I had already opened up localhost PHP my admin and this is uh, WAMP's dashboard for controlling your MySQL databases and in here we can create it at a dash uh, a database very simply. All we have to do is right here under says where it says create new database you just have to give the database a name and I'm going to call this WordPress demo. Ignore these over here. These are the other databases I've set up over over the years. Um, but once you've typed in a name, simply cr click Create. And you've just created your new WordPress database. That's it. That is the biggest hurdle to setting up a WordPress site locally. Now that that's all set, we can configure the WordPress setup just the way it likes it. So let's go. The database name, this is what we just named, and I named it WordPress Demo. Make sure that capitals and it is case sensitive. So it looks like I did not have any capitals whatsoever. So I will make sure that I call this WordPress Demo. The username for WAMP is by default root and the password by default is nothing. The database host, this is localhost, this is working localhost and the database prefix is WP, don't have to change that whatsoever. Uh, if you are working on a Mac machine, the only thing that you have to change here is that the default password is also root. However, on a Windows machine, it's just left blank. So let's submit. And right here, once you see, all right, Sparky, uh, you are ready to run the install. Before I go any further, let me just show you what's happening behind the scenes. 
if I come over here to my WordPress database that I set up, it has no tables whatsoever in it. None at all. We would see those, they would they'd be lined up right here. So the second I click run the install, WordPress is going to generate all the tables that it needs and a little bit of sample data and you don't have to worry about anything. All you have to do is give it a database that it can work with and that's all you, all you have to do. So let's click that and send this away. It's going to want to know your site title. This can be absolutely anything. Just, you know, my blog, my site. Uh, I'm going to name this WordPress demo. Uh, my username for test sites running locally, uh, I just use the username admin and I set up the password as password. Just so I can remember them. This is what you use to log into WordPress once you're set up. My email, I'm just going to put down michael at luckyrabbit.com. This is the email. If you forget your password, that WordPress will send your password to. So uh, it doesn't matter since I'm working locally if I want to allow search engines to, to search this, uh, to index this site or not. However, if you are working live online, you probably want that checked. Uh, now, install WordPress. Takes a few minutes, but you'll see it's working away. And what it's doing is essentially creating the database that it can work with. And then you get this lovely little success message, and it asks you to log in. Here's the WordPress login. And I'm going to say admin. And I'm going to say password and log in. And here's the WordPress back end up and running. And if I click on the name of the site up here, I can get out of the dashboard and actually see the website uh, as, as anybody would see it viewing it online. And here it is. Here is my brand new locally hosted WordPress demo site. If I take a, a moment to come back here and check out that, that database that was empty before we started this whole process and refresh this, you will now see it is filled with tables. WordPress has uh, completely installed itself uh, and everything is ready to go. So I hope that was helpful. And in my next demo, I'll show you how to set this up to work with it through Dreamweaver. And after that, we'll begin to customize our very own theme. So thanks for watching.